Hi all, just checking in. Uh, this is 100 day practice challenge day three. Uh, be a bit of a short video today because it's all uh, the same kind of stuff. Um, been out today for a little bit. Uh, had a had a good, I say a good long walk. I mean to say that I haven't been out for five or six weeks. So to, to walk for 10 minutes um, probably did my breathing some good. So I'm going to do uh, 10 minutes of the breathing today. Uh, the same thing, I'll put the link in the description. All it is, is um, we well, can make up your own really. Um, you know, it's something that if you do it every day, I, I, I'm already feeling a big difference. If you um, get a metronome, if you just type in metronome into uh, Google and set it up at, uh, at one beat per second, crotch equals 60, and just start with five ins, five outs, uh, make it up five in, hold for two, or out for five. It's the kind of thing you can kind of almost do what you like. Um, don't push yourself too far. I wouldn't suggest doing any more than, than five in, five out at first. Um, but yeah, my breathing's feeling much better. You, you'll see when I get buzzing as well in a minute that it seems to be really helping the buzzing as well, which it should do. Um, I've also been recommended to buy... Um, a DVD or is it a book? I can't remember if anyone's had any experience of it called The Breathing Gym. Uh, so if anyone's had any experience of this book, uh, I'd really like to know. Uh, it's very expensive, but if it's going to improve my breathing and make everything easier, then obviously it's worth buying. So if you uh, want to comment on the Facebook page, the 100 Days of uh, what is it, 100 Day Practice Challenge Facebook page, or the uh, YouTube. Uh, comments on the subscription uh, that would be really helpful to me if you've had any experience of this book because obviously um, I don't mind paying for it really but it would be nice to know from people that have used it how, how good it is one of the things I have seen actually and it makes perfect sense from a, a bit of a demo I've seen on uh, on, on YouTube uh, from the DVD is always when you're breathing doing this because it's the air that forms the embouchure. If you start forming an embouchure around different things, it doesn't work. Because obviously, uh, you're always going to be breathing through some sort of uh, embouchure. And you've got your mouthpiece on your face. So, But that isn't my embouchure. You know, I can also breathe like this. You know, you can screw your face up into any old shape you like and breathe properly. Um, at least that focuses everything. Focuses everything up. So I'm going to do uh, probably about 10 minutes of breathing now, and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my buzzing. Uh, bailing book again. I think I'm going to go a bit mad with the bailing tonight and maybe do half an hour. It's starting to feel that good. It really is. After what we did, we're now on day three. So, you know, 100 days should be, uh, should be getting back up there. So uh, I'm just going to get on with some of those um, breathing things. I'm going to start in five in, five out for a couple of minutes, four in, four out, etc., three in, three out, etc., and then maybe start doing some uh, mix-up, five in, two outs, two outs, five, uh, two ins, five outs. Just muddle it up a bit and then uh, start uh, hopefully seeing some improvement, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll show you some more of that when I get to the buzzing part in a little bit. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back. Um, really starting to get some serious movement in there now uh, a lot of power coming back after three days so um, highly recommend that um, that I've just uh, it'll be in the description in that uh, uh, link that I've been uh, doing the last few days and I think just doing some breathing like that every day is gonna really help I mean the things really help me with is buzzing now with buzzing you, you guys can all help me with this because um, I can see a few things now and I want to see if you can see them as well. What I want to do is try and get myself back to a stage where I've got an embouchure where everything focuses around the middle F in uh, in concert pitch. If you're, a, if you're a brass band player, that's middle G. So you should be able to play your whole range really on that sort of middle G embouchure. What I'm really looking for is that the corners here stay pretty much fixed that's something that's going to take time uh, but if I just do a few uh, short buzzing things now uh, hopefully you can see that I, I think one side and I think it's I think it's this side actually 
I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but one side definitely looks stronger than the other. Having said that, this bottom lip still feels a bit swollen, and you can probably see the top lip still is a bit uh, high on one side as it is, you know, and it's not on on the other, which will be a contributing factor. But I mean, so if I just sort of stay within an octave. <laughs> So I couldn't do that two days ago. I couldn't buzz an octave, and I think a lot of that's down to uh, to airflow, and also uh, that my lips are getting a bit better anyway. Good old uh, <laughs> copious amounts of Vaseline, I think, is uh, really really helping. But if if I start to move out of an octave, especially in the lower octave, uh, you'll start to see I think that one side is I don't know. You, you can tell me in the comments. Um, but one side does seem a bit stronger if I move around as well. I know the lighting's not particularly great in here, uh, but it's kind of all I've got I can show you. But it should be enough to see. I'll try and get close to the camera. <laughs> So if I go and then do the same sort of thing at this side. So there's top C. I don't know how that's happening because I haven't tried to get a top C in months. Um, so I'll put that down to breathing. Uh, so... That's that side, same sort of thing on this side. <laughs> so the top end seems to be um, quite settled today. But if I go down the bottom end, it sort of it gets a bit bit more collapsy. I don't know why. If you look at the bottom, especially the bottom lip. <laughs> so it doesn't seem to matter where I move my jaw forwards, backwards, up, down. I don't think it's an aperture thing because uh, you can hear there's enough air getting out of there. Um, but yeah, so let, let me know what you think. Um, if you can see things that I can't, um, I'm a little bit worried that it doesn't look very square at all. Um, you might see something different to me. Any tips, greatly appreciated. And like I say, anything that you think I'm not seeing, if you see something, let me know. Um, interestingly, uh, on the debate side of things for today, um, I'm seeing, especially on the 100 Days Practice uh, Challenge page on YouTube, that uh, there's a lot of people using a, different, a lot of different books. I think I need to go out and sort of freshen myself up a bit. I've been using the same kind of things for, you know, since like the dawn of time in my own playing, really. Uh, Arbans and all that kind of thing. So let's uh, set up a poll on Facebook. Uh, and um, I'll leave it empty, but just just write in whatever book it is you're using, whether it's you know like it, like it always was with the Arbans or a people have they migrated to the Schlossberg, which I don't really know about, which I probably ought to uh, have a look at that book, uh, or or is it something else? You know, is it something that's come out <laughs> fairly recently that's completely bypassed me and I need to know about? So uh, that'll be really interesting. Great to see everything, uh, how everything's catching on here. And uh, hope we practice is going well. Uh, see you tomorrow.